Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing some more Universe Sim. It has been a while since we played this game. Uh, if you've never seen it before, essentially this game is part civilization builder, part god builder. It's kind of, it reminds me a lot of like old school Spore and old school black and white. So essentially you're kind of guiding the civilization through the eras. It starts like super early with like ancient era and like stone axes and stuff like that. Eventually, you know, you get rockets and modern day tech and stuff like that and then you actually have god powers akin to like a black and white um, from back in the day where you can kind of influence things you can uh, pick up resources and drop it on a building to save some time you can uh, you know create storms you can uh, have it rain and you can do all this kind of stuff with your powers to make people believe in you uh, and the whole point of the game is you basically start with your civilization in like the super ancient era and eventually although it's not in the game yet you're supposed to be able to go to the stars and explore other planets and stuff like that when we first played this game I think it just entered early access on Steam it's still in alpha and back then there wasn't a lot of the late game text and a lot of just the random text throughout the arrow were kind of missing and it was kind of challenging because you know for example we were having trouble keeping our people happy because none of the happy buildings were actually in the game so uh, when we first played it that was a little difficult also some of the balance with the god power was really really um, just not really uh, uh, um, um, well it wasn't really balanced I guess would be the best way to describe it so how God powers worked in the game at least before was it was based on how many people believed in you uh, your, your your God powers would charge quicker the problem was I found myself at a certain point in the game where no one believed in me so my God powers weren't taking up quick enough but then I couldn't make people believe in me because I didn't have any God powers so we were kind of in this like negative spiral and uh, eventually we just kind of got to a point where uh, my computer just couldn't handle it anymore uh, it wasn't really optimized but I've updated my computer since then the game itself has been updated since then quite a bit hopefully a lot of these balances are gonna be a little um well, it's going to be a lot more balanced. They did recently add in uh, aliens, which will abduct your uh, uh, your pops or your nuggets. So I'm kind of intrigued to see that. Hopefully we can actually get a more modern world because I think we kind of ended it like almost like Renaissance era last time. So I think we're good to go ahead and launch into the game. Let me make sure subtitles are turned on. We're on Fahrenheit. God's Trail on. Subtitles are on. Okay. So then let's go start a new life. There will be a cutscene here in a little bit, but um, so like some of the things you can do with your god powers is you can like pick up trees. So for example, like early uh, stone huts, which is kind of the housing, you know, it's going to require stone and it's going to require wood. If you just let your pips or just let your nuggets go do it, eventually they'll go chop down the trees, eventually they'll go harvest the stone, and they'll go build the stuff themselves. But you can take a more active role if you want and, you know, pick up uh, some trees and drop it on the building. Now, by doing that, obviously, you make people, A, you might make them a little scared, um, but then B, you might uh, 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 make them fall in love with you, and then you'll have people believe in you. And you can kind of be a good god, you can kind of be a bad god, you can like kind of like pick up nuggets and throw them around and kill them, which is going to be a great way to get people to love you, but or at least believe in you, but they won't really love you. And so some of the buildings that they will build, like their temples and stuff like that, will actually change based on how you're uh, treating them, so... The game likes to freeze when it's loading in here, but luckily, luckily, um, we're good there. So I'm gonna try shutting up Wake for most up. of this. Um, this dude's Wake actually pretty up. hilarious. I like him. This is the beginning of your story. My story. It if I was sleeping, then nothing. whatever. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. Touch. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. And so the universe sprang into The beauty. other thing to note is this game is freaking beautiful. Worlds filled with endless I mean, one of the best looking games I think I've seen. Beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, where did my subtitles go? Others flourished. Like, Purple Planet gives me a These really big spore vibe. Soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. Life. Life. 
However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. Goodbye, Fox. A creator's purpose oh, poor turtle. was always that of an observer. To simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Not quite sure why the subtitles keep popping oh, on and off. Here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. So this is our world. This is a fair sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. Is this new? I don't remember this. The perfect ecosystem was formed. I don't remember all this explanation last time we played it. There's no wonder then why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Well, their very existence rests in your hands. So here we go. Hopefully I remember how to play this game. I spent a couple minutes like kind of looking at it uh, like 20 minutes like a couple days ago just trying to refresh myself on everything. So it has been a little while since I played this game though, but there might be some issues. So our first mission is going to be to throw down our uh, evolution tower. Essentially the evolution tower is uh, our home base for our planet. Now the thing with the evolution tower is wherever we put it down is going to be kind of the central starting location location for our people now for our people as I mentioned before they're gonna want to build houses and stuff like that to build houses they're gonna need stone they're gonna need wood eventually we're gonna want to go f uh, fish and they're also gonna need access to water so we kind of want to find a starting location that uh, uh, well a is kind of centrally located because so for example if I put my starting location here eventually we're gonna spread out on the entire planet so we kind of want it somewhat centrally located we don't want to put it like right here because eventually as they expand in this direction it's going to be really hard to get there we'd rather like start here and then have them expand in all other directions and in fact this seems like a pretty decent spot anywhere in here um i mean this is just such a pretty game there's a lot of stone here i mean we could go like right here in the stone but that might be might be too much stone right here um, oh, we could also send our people to go hunt, which is cool as the game progresses. Um, I mean, we can come down here. We can get some, like, freaking, like, look at this game. Look at this game, dude, with the day-night. Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. Such a pretty game, such a pretty game. So, I think for now, let's just go here. I think this is going to be maybe our best option. We got quite a few trees nearby. We got a lot of water nearby as well. Um, I got to remember Q and E rotate. I keep hitting the right click because I was playing a lot of City Skyline recently so let's go throw this down yeah no 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 I'm gonna put it here a little bit let's put it a little bit off the water something like that that'll be fine so this one we don't need anything take a look at your new subject so we can hit F there called and so uh, these guys are called Nuggets, and I'm gonna talk about the game and then we'll unpause it and listen to him. So we essentially start with Adahe and uh, Elu, I guess kind of the Adam and Eve. And so basically from them, our entire civilization is going to uh, exist. Now what we have down here is number one, we have a research panel. So we got a lot of tech here that we can research and we can get some pretty freaking uh, late tech. So we got carbon manufacturing. See, a lot of this stuff wasn't in the game the last time we played it, auto mills, uh, autonomous sawmills motorization I'm assuming then we get cars with electronics and stuff like that I wonder if they actually get cars and roads and stuff like that but a lot of this stuff was just missing before specifically I think it was like the happy stuff where it was like hey make them happier sorry we can't do that like power naps maybe that was there I don't know I think we ended up getting to like right about here last time so um, and as I said before I think eventually you're supposed to be able to get into space and stuff like that but that's our tech then here we got uh, the buildings right now pretty much to keep itself in one piece. Why are you talking? 
Uh, but most of this stuff is all currently locked, except we can do the archive, which is how we save the game. And of everything that Nuggets will ever know or achieve. We can't even do houses yet, so that's that. Um, then we got the creator power menu, which we can look at here. So right now is that's how our creative powers. Uh, but we can actually sit here, and these are the current spells that we start with. Eventually, we get access to more, so we can telekinesis, so we can like pick up people and throw them. Uh, we can give people the gift of love. Uh, we can what was the other one? Oh, rejuvenate to bring them back to life. And I don't remember. Did I mention this already? I I I did this uh, start a couple episodes, or at least I already tried this one time but I didn't like how it was going so I restarted it I didn't like my commentary but one of the options we have I think I said this the last time not this one is we can be a good god or we can be a bad god so we can uh, 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 throw them around and murder them with our telekinesis power which is gonna make them uh, like uh, well they'll believe in us we'll get more people believing in us but unfortunately um, then we're gonna be kind of an evil god we could be more of a positive god and just like pick up trees and help build their buildings and stuff like that and we'll probably have less people believe in us but um, they won't be as afraid of us and the buildings they build and stuff will change But I think that's pretty much everything we need to talk about. So let's just unpause the game and let him finish his um, talk Okay, maybe we already broke up oh, oh, there to one another Although there are some things that are shared and they all have stats as well, too, which is cool need for certain essentials like food and water a stable roof over their heads and an occasional nap occasional they want to learn build discover and create it would all be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them this is quite a beautiful planet it really is try not to ruin it will you <laughs> so you can see immediately they threw down their stone hut so it requires five wood it requires five stone right now you can see that Adahe, he's actually uh harvesting some stone and you can look at elu and she's actually uh harvesting some wood so one of the things we can actually do is we can sit here with our uh telekinesis power we could pick up a tree uh, wait, is it control? Oh, it's control. There you go. We can so pick up a tree, a tree and then we can drop now. it there and now all of a sudden it doesn't require any wood. Now it just requires some stone. Now the HUD itself shouldn't auto build. They should actually start building it themselves. Um, but I think they're going to need stone. See, he's trying to get up to five stone first. Um, and then once he gets up to five stone, then they'll go ahead and start building it. Um, now picking up stuff in front of them is actually going to then make them a little afraid as you can see So then that's how you kind of uh, make uh, I mean stuff like that's going to tend to make you a little bit more of an evil god I think I don't know exactly but this essentially is just going to be their first kind of hut that they're going to live in Some of this I think you can determine some of it though um like, I'm trying to remember. I think stone huts might just be auto-built. I don't think you can actually determine where they go. So, we can then pick different techs. I think we're going to start with fire, which is going to unlock just lights in the building. The water pump isn't bad, um, but they don't need water for a little bit of time. So, we might as well just have that research going for now. Um, we will want to throw down the archive here before too long. Yo, why are you guys not actually building it? Yeah, you guys should actually be uh, building it right now. Hi, prioritize this. And so you can prioritize buildings and stuff like that. And you see, okay, now he's going to go ahead and start building. We could uh, actually also bump up the speed here um, just to kind of speed things along while we wait for them to do their job. Um, so then he's going to start building it. Uh, we could actually have a total of three constructors here. Eventually, as you get different techs, you can start specializing people and be like, hey, you're one of my constructors. Hey, you're one of one of my firefighters. Hey, you're one of my doctors and stuff like that. So we'll do the uh, wheel or sorry, the well next. And um, we can start throwing some wells down. I will go ahead and start building down our archives so we can save. Um, but I'm not super concerned about that yet. Um, I'm going to put you somewhat near our central location. I'll put you there. That's fine. And we might as well go ahead and just grab this tree and dump it on here. This message is quite I don't know if they have any stuff. The like, they're not really carrying well, stuff. I guess they just nonsense. dropped their stuff, so. Don't worry. I'll just put that over here in the garbage pile. Here's another message that makes more sense. 
Okay, so dear creator, we don't mean to sound like we're complaining, but we're having a tough time doing all the work with just the two of us. Uh, is there any way we can expand our civilization, maybe bring a few extra hands? I'm not, I sincerely hope there's an easy way of going about that, one that doesn't involve months of discomfort and weird cravings followed by hours of excruciating pain. No, you're totally good. You're totally good. You're totally good. So I what they're asking us to do is mate. Reproduction, creator. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and click on you and click on you. you and essentially what we're doing is saying, hey, we want you two to go have uh, baby making time. So he's going to apparently finish building the archive first, which sure, sure. Not really what I was looking for right this second, but you know, uh, what is this? This is just the number of nuggets, right? Yeah. And eventually there's a list. Oh yeah, right here. We got a list of all our nuggets and you can even like look at their occupation. I think labor is just the default one. Um, we do have to be worried about the wolves eventually, like you're going to need to build defenses, otherwise they'll come and start killing your colony. Um, the bears I don't think are as bad, but yeah, maybe I should have waited on this. <laughs> I could cancel it, but whatever, whatever, whatever. So they're going to pop out some babies here eventually. Um, go ahead and knock out the water wheel while you're at it. Might as well just do some passiveness with the tech. It is 94 degrees at night. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Just going to throw that out there. Gonna throw that out there. I think there is global warming. I don't remember if there's global warming in the game. I thought there was. I know there's winter, so there are different seasons as well. So uh, eventually, like, uh, it's gonna become winter and then all the water is gonna freeze over. So keep an eye out for flags being raised. This indicates that they need a new worker. Oh, okay, so we actually need to assign a nugget to work the archive, um, which I'm not gonna worry about yet. So, all right, they are what finally baby making. Hoping to see exactly? You know, you know, you know, we're just, we're, we're a nosy god, okay? So, anyways, they are having woohoo time, or woo-woo time. Um, uh, they, uh, every once in a while, they will, like, injure themselves and, like, speed up some tech oh, and stuff like that, so. Look at that, a little baby nugget. I'm hitting Aren't F. They adorable when they're young. Don't so we got clear. two, uh, oh, babies. We got stick and stone, girl. which is kind of hilarious. Soon be old enough to have an opinion and make questionable life decisions. Yeah. Let's see how much you like them then. He loves to eat. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. So we got a new message. So, dear creator, we're struggling to grant names for our little ones. Adahe keeps wanting to call them something trivial like Is stick and stone. Really and I'm about ready to break his bones. Doing? Uh, I suggest some more appropriate names, but he believes I'm trying too hard. Can you please help us settle this argument? Uh, all right. I am on all it. Right, then. Yo, where are my kids? Where are the kids? Where are the kids at? Uh, give me the nuggets. Hi. Wait, why can't I search them? Huh. All right. Well, uh, I want Stick to begin with. Stick, congratulations. You are now Jeff. You are now going to be Jeff. Um, and maybe I should name you Brian. No, no, no. I think Adahe should probably be Brian and Emily, right? And then our kids, Jeff and uh, Jeffette. Is that how you spell Jeffette? I don't know how you spell Jeffett. All right, so we got Jeff and Jeffett. Um, yeah, Ada, hey, guess what? You're not Brian. And Eli, or whatever your name was, you're now Emily, if I can find you. Where'd you go? She went and hid. Elu. Elu. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, there it is. Click that button. What? Where you at? Oh, you're back there. Hi, you're now Emily. Cool, so now when we die, I'm gonna feel bad. Uh, new tech unlocked, so let's go do primitive cooking let's and- Let's call them something silly. Let's call them something silly? Nah, no way, calling them Jeff, man. So, dear creator, thank you, you're an, a, truly an amazing inspiration. We could never conceive such amazing names. Jeff and Jeffette fit them perfectly. They will carry their names for as long as they live in nuggets. We'll use them as a benchmark for generations to come. Yep, we're so grateful uh, to have a God who answers our prayers even when they're as small as this. Okay, so. Now we want to go ahead and start throwing out some wells. Um, this is just like a quick way. So the water pit, eventually they're going to get thirsty. They're going to want water. You can see that their water is slowly ticking down. Eventually they're going to need food. Eventually they're going to need a nap. So you're going to want to put water pits around so that they don't have to go that far to go get some water. Um, they can also drink water out of the oceans and stuff like that. But I think there's some negatives to that if I remember. So um, we'll put it somewhat near the housing. Something like that. You can go throw that one down. And then we also wanted to go ahead and do a water pump. A few nuggets. 
And so then this is going to, um, basically, uh, wait, hold up. So you do the water pump so that you get water. It was entertaining to watch them, but such things, water pumps can only be placed beside freshwater lakes. Don't forget to build a reservoir. Yeah, where the heck is the reservoir? So unfortunately, we don't have the reservoir. So the pump then pumps water into a reservoir so you have water come winter time? There it is. We just hadn't unlocked the water storage yet. So it's kind of weird that we have the water pump, but we don't have um, we don't have the reservoir. Yeah, it feels a little weird. All right, we'll go ahead and pump some water over there. Thank you for the tip. Good, good, good. Um, right now, I'll let you guys work on the water pit. And then um, right now, only uh, Jeffette is currently working on the construction. I think the other guys are maybe chopping and doing some stuff. No, no, no. Uh, they're too young to do that. Okay. Yeah, they're too young right now to uh, 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 be like uh, constructors and stuff like that. So, eventually, and don't think too much about it because it gets a little weird, but um, Jeff and Jeffette are going to have to have some babies and expand our civilization, you know? And then uh, Brian and Emily are going to have to have some more kids, and, you know, that's going to be kind of how things are going to work. Also, there are plants around here that will also work for food early game. So eventually they're just going to go pick these up and eat them. Uh, I think those should replenish themselves after a period of time, but eventually you unlock farming tech and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, we are on speed three. All right, there's our water pit. Uh, as they need water, then they'll go drink it. The thing is, this only holds a little bit of water and it should tick up over time. Uh, I think just passively. So that's why I don't think anyone's going to drink. Uh, I missed that tip, by the way. Yeah, I don't see that tip, but it was something about that. Okay, so then you guys are coming and working on this sucker right here. Um, we need 10 wood and a lot of stone. I'm going to grab some wood from over here. Wait, this is the wrong button. Give me some telekinesis. We maybe should have me and Emily um, go have some fun. Uh, that's all the wood we need. And then let's go grab some stone just so we can get some more babies. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? Yeah, let's grab just a little bit more. Just to speed this along. Not that I really need it right this second, but okay. Um, we'll go do that. And then... Hi, I want to go... And let me and Emily go have some fun. I couldn't possibly imagine a better couple. Now, you could really come and make some confusing moments where, for example, after Jeff and Jeff Egg grow up, you could have, like, Jeff... Uh, get together with Emily and Jeffette get together with Brian um, Even though you know um, Not just because their mother and son or, 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 or uh, Father and daughter, but from the weird sense where you can have two people who aren't married or who aren't a couple Actually then start having fun with someone who's not part of their couple and just yeah create some issues create some issues I don't exactly remember what happens, but we might do that here in a little bit. So I think they got old yeah, they grew up, so now they're now laborers, so we have extra help here, so that's great. So, hey, um, Brian, so you can see that goes a lot quicker, but Brian, you could go do something different now. We want, um, what was this one? I actually don't know what that did, but we can do some primitive cooking. So that's just going to give us the passive eatery. I will go ahead and build it. We kind of need some more power before we can build stuff, but... For such a young civilization, I mean... Sure, it's built out of rocks, wood, and a bit of string, but impressive nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Oh, yo, you were talking about the water well. Now, the thing is, since I don't have a reservoir, this isn't really doing much for me. Uh, we're probably going to want two or three reservoirs here fairly early on, but... Okay, so Jeff and... Or, sorry, me and Emily should be having some fun. Um, creepers, stop trying to watch. Uh, okay, go to the eatery. You're going to start working on that. I'm just going to let them grab those resources. Yeah, our god powers seem to be taking up a little bit quicker than the last time. It's 105 degrees. My gosh. I don't know if that temperature maybe um, changes uh, how quickly they need water. But, all right, we got a new kid. Who's our new kid? Kazuko? Ah, that's a terrible name. That's a terrible name. So, we got Jeff. We got Jeff at, um, I guess, are you a girl or a guy? Uh... I don't remember what that is. I don't remember the symbols. Emily, so you're a girl. 
Crap, that gets rid of the name I was gonna go with. Uh, um, okay, what would be a girl? I'm terrible with names, by the way. Um, Emily B, there we go. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. I'm absolutely terrible with names. Uh, crap. Well, here's the thing. So, I'm out of the country probably about the time this video comes out. So, I would offer or ask for suggestions and name it after uh, suggestions you guys give me. Oh, they're building me a temple. Sweet. Uh, but the thing is, I'm going to be like 10 episodes ahead or something like that. So, getting names. They're probably going to be dead, honestly, by the time I get your name suggestions. Um, but, yeah. 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 Speaking of which, we got to keep this a little bit quicker on this episode. But since this is the first one, I'll go a little bit longer. Probably going to keep these closer to 25. So the temple is one of those things that will like change based on how good or bad you are. Um, evolution tower, crime level is very low. This is new. That wasn't there before. Uh, right now, our happiness is normal. Okay. Wind speed. Oh, yeah. There's like natural disasters, too. There's like hurricanes. You can actually like call in hurricanes if you really want to be mean and stuff like that. So I'm just going to let you guys just kind of tick up. Maybe we should go explore the planet a little bit. See what's over here. I mean, we've got some more plants and stuff like that. We got a lot of rocks. I like actually building near like the rocks because it's kind of cool. Uh, press the home button. That button. Aha. And then we just fly right back home, baby. Let's go. I'm going to have to make someone an archivist so I can actually save. Maybe Emily B, when she grows up, will be an archivist. Now, eventually, they will start uh, sleeping together without you having to say, hey, go sleep together. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Now, the question is, hold up. Uh, Brian and Emily, or uh, Jeff and Jeff Ed are still living with us. I guess they're still young. Okay. At a certain point, though, they're going to grow up and they're going to need their own huts. So... All right, we got uh, the Kesanin. I actually don't know how to uh, pronounce that. So that one's done. Water flow study gives us the well upgrade. Yeah. Fishing, we're kind of... I think I'm going to go for the tool set. Nah. We need the water storage. We need the water storage ASAP. So you can have buildings that have flags attached to them. And then there's an upgrade. What building has an upgrade? Oh, our water pit has an upgrade. That's what that was. Okay. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. That's fine, because um, let's speed that up. To make you more efficient, so then we don't have to build out another one, I think is great. I think that's great. So I can also prioritize this, maybe. Oh, yeah, buildings lose health over time, too. So you need engineers to kind of, like, upkeep buildings. Um, that's one of the biggest issues that starts happening, but yeah, I know I can save the game, but I can't save it right now because I don't have anyone doing the job. Look at the freaking whale, dude. He's so cool. He's so cool. I don't think you can do anything with the whale. I don't know if you could, if there's whaling in the game. And if there was whaling, I'm not, you know, someone who thinks you should go whale. I, yeah, I'm kind of anti-whaling, so let's avoid that. Yeah, you don't have anyone working. That's why you have the banner. They're still building this temple that I don't need. Emily B becoming an adult is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Amen to that. Amen to that. So you get a lot of notices about what's happening. The downside is eventually there's just too many people and this just starts popping out too quickly. And it's just like, I don't know, you just start losing it eventually. So the trees must be undergoing significant stress. They've started to go bald. Uh, okay. I guess because it's summer. So confused. This is new. What is this? Crater point regeneration speed. Amount of points per sacrifice nugget. Oh, hello. Indicates the relationship of your civilization towards you. They either love or fear you. Both have pros and cons. This is all new. I don't think this was here before. Indicates the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we did this? Uh, of your godly influence, the temple is the best way to gauge your civilization collective feelings. Performing virtuous actions like healing nuggets and assisting them with quest tasks will earn you their love. The more they love, the more love they have for you, the higher your passive creator point generation will be. However, if benevolence sounds like a made up word to you, then perhaps it's time to let your evil side take the reins. Since their actions like murder and sacrifice nuggets at the temple will begin to strike fear, their fear level determines how many creator points you earn for sacrificing nuggets, but cripples your passive point generation. 
Okay. So if you choose this path, keep in mind you can sacrifice nuggets from the exiled villages. You can expect to receive an invite to the weekly villain meetups on Tuesday. That is awesome. So that's new, I think. I think before, uh, this would be slower the more they love you, and it would be quicker the more they hate you. I actually like how this works, where there's like a two different generation here. Um, we're probably going to be a good god, because I'm a nice good god. Jeff and Jevette have fallen in love. All right. All right, so what does that mean? They're going to be needing another stone house. So what does that mean? Let's go take care of this for them. But you'll learn everything in time. I mean, they had to always fall in love, so just don't think too much about that. So we're going to go throw that. Uh, I need some stone here, please. Where's one of my stones? Uh, hey, I need a stone. I need a stone. Sometimes it's hard to find out where's the stone. All right, so we got the wood, we got the stone, then we just need someone to start building that, and then, uh, yep, there you go, Jeffette's gonna start building her house, and then her and Jeff should then go start having some woohoo fun time together. <laughs> okay, I think this is as good of a time as any to go ahead and, uh, put a pause in the action. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. Next episode, we're gonna keep building up our sieve, and hopefully we can, um, I don't know, get some, uh, fun stuff happening. Until then, bye everybody!